Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. Uh, today I'm going to be mixing up some new paints. I'm going to be doing a, a series of uh, paints in a dusky, dusty pink colors. Uh, my daughter wants me to do some stuff for her to put in her in her daughter's uh, bedroom and she wants it done in uh, dusty pink. So she purchased for me um, Persian Red. Uh, this is Master's Touch and uh, Pink. Uh, red. Oh, Brown Red. Brown Red. This is a metallic. And um, Copper. This is also metallic. And uh, this is chrome oxide green. Now today I'm going to mix up several shades of these colors. I'm going to mix up one, just um, the um, Persian, Persian red. And then I'm going to mix one up with the Persian red and the um, copper together and of course then I'll have also the a separate copper color. Um, I'm going to do the same with these. I will do one of the pink, one with the pink and the brown red mixed and one with just the brown red. Um, I may do some with the greens as well. Uh, do one with the green. In fact maybe I'll do one with the green alone, one with the green and copper and one with the green and brown red mixed um, and what I'm going to be doing is I will mix them in this container um, and I usually mix my paints one part one part paint one part Elmer's glue all and the rest of it Floetrol and I try to do about 10 ounces because that's what my um, squeeze bottles hold it's 10 ounces um, today I've got all these other things over here that um, that I have purchased for different reasons and I'm going to just use them up. So, uh, so today I will be doing one part of paint, one part of Elmer's Glue All, one part of this Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium and Varnish. I purchased this to use as a varnish and it is not going to work for me as a varnish at all. So I'm just going to start putting it in my paints and use it up. So uh, there will be one part of that in there. And then I also have this um, Sargent Art Acrylic Pearlescent Mixing Medium. I will be putting one part of that in there. So what have we got here? One part paint, one part glue, one part um, uh, of the Liquitex Medium, one part of the uh, Acrylic uh, Pearlescent medium and then probably I will do two parts of Floetrol um, which is going to give me about 12 ounces of paint so my bottles only hold about 10 so when I get it mixed up then the other um, two ounces I will put in a cup and uh, and I think I will put some uh, black in in that cup so that then I have another shade of the same colors. So I'm going to have several shades of the same pink colors um, and then uh, I will be using those colors for the next several videos as I attempt to make a painting suitable to hang up in my granddaughter's bedroom. So uh, that's what I'm so anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today, and um, and so I will uh, get that done, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, um, I decided to do the last color uh, to actually mix it on camera. I've got all these other ones mixed up, and actually I wasn't even going to do this color, but I forgot to film the last one, so I'm making another color. So here's my cup again that's got the little mark marks on it, measurements on it, and I'm going to put um, Elmer's Glue All in it first because um, if I put the paint in first, 
and I don't get it mixed up quite well and some of the paint ends up in the like corners of the cup. I don't like that. I don't want to leave my paint in the corners of the cup. I don't care if I leave a little bit of a um, Elmer's glue all in the corner. Okay, then I, this, I'm mixing this up, this um, Persian red and the other one is the red, the brown red that I'm going to put together. Okay, so I want to put this one in until um, it's halfway up between these two marks because I'm only going to put half part of this in and half a part of um, the brown red. Let's see if we can get any more out of this. That one, if I want to mix up any more of that, I'll have to cut that tube and get it out. Okay, and then we'll now we'll put this in here until it actually does go up to the line. Okay, so now that's um, up to the second line here. So I have one part of Elmer's glue all in there, and one part of paint in there. Now um, this pearlescent mix, I was doing one part of the pearlescent mix and one part of the Liquitex um, uh, gloss medium. And uh, I kind of ran out of this. It was kind of thick and ran out of it. So I poured the gloss medium in um, in with this and shook it up real good so that it's mixed. So uh, I'm going to put actually two parts of this in here and call it one part Liquitex medium and one part of the pearlescent. Looks like I don't have enough in there. I have to add some more. So now that's up to this. So I have one part paint, I mean one part Elmer's glue oil, one part paint, one part Liquitex gloss medium, one part pearlescent mixing medium, and now I'm going to put two parts of Floetrol in there. Now every one of these other paints, um, I uh, um, don't use water to thin my paints. Um, I use, uh, excuse me, I just want to rinse that out. Okay. I use bare concrete stain to, uh, water down, for lack of a better word, my paints to thin them down if they're a little bit too thick. Every one of these paints that I mixed up was really thick, and I think they're still a little bit thick. Um, so I'm going to mix this up and, uh, and if it's really, really thick, um, then I will put, oh, woof, a little bit wild there with my stirring. Uh, then I will put some bare uh, concrete stain in to thin it down. This mixing of the paints is what uh, takes so much time in doing the painting, is mixing all the paints and getting them to the right consistencies and working on them and deciding what mediums you're going to use and stuff. The actual painting themselves doesn't, painting, yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Of course, you've seen, you know, you do a painting, it doesn't take a lot of time to actually do that, but mixing up the paint uh, does. I've actually been here. Uh, mixing paints for several hours. Okay, get that in that corner down there. I used to always put my paint in first, and I don't know why. It's just that I did that, but uh, it was hard to get all of it mixed off the bottom, and I was I felt like I was just wasting some paint, so I didn't. So I quit doing that. Okay, so now when I first started watching um, acrylic pouring videos, um, one of the people I watched, and I have no idea what their names were because I was not keeping track of who, who I was watching, what their names were, or anything like that. Um, but anyway, she said, mix up your paint 
and if the stick stands up in the paint it is too thick uh, so I was at first I was thinning my paints down you know quite a bit because the stick stands up in it <laughs> and then later on I was watching um, another mixing video and she said um, your paint your stick should stand up in your paint so however a person wants to do a, whatever thickness they feel most comfortable with I suppose is okay because um, but this as you can see the stick sticks I could even put it in sideways and it'll sit there because um, this is really thick and uh, let's see and as you can see, if it run, when it runs off the stick, it leaves quite a trace there. It piles up on top of each other. Um, it stays on top for quite a while. And if I do the pudding test uh, this way, um, it really doesn't fill in. <laughs> it stays there. It doesn't move. So yeah, I think it's pretty thick. So, um, so what I do is I use the bare um, concrete stain to thin it down and you can see that is really thin that that's like water and that's why I use that um, also in one of the early videos I heard um, I don't know they were explaining about paint mediums and water and they said the water of course breaks down the the bonding agents in the paint so that's the reason I started using the bare concrete stain instead of water was because I didn't want to break down the bonding in the paint. Now this is really thick and I usually just put a little bit of this in but I am putting a full part in. So what did I get? I have one part Elmer's Blue All, one part paint, one part Liquitex um, uh, gloss medium, one part of the Pearl Essent mixing medium, two parts of Floetrol and one part of the Bare Concrete Stain. And that's what the mixture is for this particular um, these paints that I'm mixing up for these projects. Um, this is um, not my normal mixture and uh, it won't be after this because I've used up all my pearlescent <laughs> stuff and almost all of this gloss medium. So then I'll go back to my uh, one part paint, one part Elmer's glue all and about three parts of Floetrol is what I usually do and then I just thin that with the bare stain as needed and usually I don't need to you put that much in there but these these are coming out pretty thick and you can still see it's still leaving a trace on there and I, even though I put a full part of that bare stain in there I might just put just a little bit on there a little bit more in there okay And then what I've been doing, I have my bottle over here. But yeah, see that still stands up there. It doesn't even move. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So then I just fill up my bottle. And like I said before, when I do one part paint, one part Elmer's glue wall, and three parts Floetrol, um, and then thin it with the with the bare stain it fits pretty good right into these oh I forgot to put I forgot to put the coconut milk in there anyway it fills up these bottles really well but where I put so much more uh, medium in there um, I have extra paint, which I knew I was going to. Okay, let's get that. Mix that hair serum up in there pretty good. All right. So then with this one, I'm just going to put it in a cup. It's left in here. watching pouring your heart out tonight uh, today and uh, she was saying that somebody had uh, put a comment in one of her videos and asked her not to scrape her cups out because it was like fingernails on a chalkboard the sound it made 
she was so funny. She said, well, uh, I'm going to scrape my cups out um, with my stick, so if you don't like it, then, uh, you know, watch somebody else. Don't watch my videos. That was kind of funny. Just scraping this out with a stick just reminded me of that. Okay. Put that down in my bucket of water to rinse out, and I'm going to put uh, just a drop of this black in here or two drops of black <laughs> okay mix that up just to give it a slightly different tint that stick is the same stick I've used ever since I started mixing them up in this in that container and putting them into my bottles I use that same stick you can use them over and over again I just stick it down in there wipe it off and it dries up good and use the same stick okay let's see so these are the colors I'm going to be using to um, in the next little while this this one is the one we just mixed up with the um, it's um, Persian red and uh, and brown red. This one is just the brown red. This one is Master's Touch pink mixed with the brown red. This is Master's Touch pink. Then we have the uh, copper. That's a really light copper. And um, then this one is the Persian red uh, and copper. Uh, Persian red and copper. And this one is just the Persian red. And then we have this um, chrome oxide green. And then I have all of those same colors mixed up with just a drop of black in them. And they're all in cups over here. So they're just a little bit grayer over here. Same thing. And we will be using um, Sargent's uh, Mars Black and Liquitex Titanium White. So um, those are the ones I'm going to be using in my next uh, several paintings and trying to get um, something. Well, first, first off, I'm going to try to get something that um, resembles some kind of a rose. So I'm going to be doing like a tree ring pour or, or a variation of tree ring pour and try and get it to look something like that. Um, my daughter wants a rose and I told her I can't pour a rose, but I can give it a try. So. That's what we're going to be doing. That's what our projects we're going to be working on in the next little while. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, this video and look forward to you coming and joining me uh, in uh, the next several videos uh, attempting to make something out of these colors. Thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> you know, anybody might be interested in them, let them know. And uh, most importantly, have a great night.